Hi, Dom Testa back again with volume number three for A Writer Recommends. I'm the, uh, the guy who wrote The Comet's Curse, book number one in the Galahad series, and followed by the second book in the series called The Web of Titan. You know, I'm proud of those books, but not as proud as I am of my biggest invention, which was the hole in the middle of a CD. Um, where before you used to have to pick it up and handle it, I came up with the idea of the hole so you could actually stick your finger through and hold it like this. Really proud of that. This time around on the uh, recommendation list, I'm going to go with uh, uh, this big heavy book by Bill Bryson. It's called A Short History of Nearly Everything, which is a funny title, but for one thing, Bill Bryson is an extremely funny writer. Some of you might be familiar with uh, some of his travel books like The Lost Continent, uh, which is one of my favorites. He takes his great humorous, witty style that he has, and he turns it to sciences. If you know somebody who is a big fan of science, or maybe they dabble in reading things about science, this could be something that they would absolutely love, or you for that matter. Don't let the size intimidate you. Bill Bryson has this great conversational style that makes the chapters fly by, and you don't have to read all of this at one sitting. In fact, if you want, break it up. There's sections in there about Earth, there's sections in there about space, atoms, Darwin, the atmosphere. It's great just to pick up from time to time and flip through another chapter or two. It's heavy, ugh, but it's great. Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything, this time around on A Writer Recommends. Okay, there is the book recommendation for this month. Now let's jump into the email. This comes from Garrett. He says, Hi Dom, my dad and I read The Comet's Curse together. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. And I wanted to know, how long does it take to write a book? I'm going to tell you something, Garrett, that's a great question. It comes up a lot when I do my writing assemblies and writing workshops. I think young people are really fascinated by the process of writing and they want to know, how long does that take? Well, it depends. It depends on your discipline and how much you're writing. You know, if you are very disciplined and you keep your butt in the seat and you are determined to do 500 words a day, okay, let's just say, about a page and a half or two pages, you can get a book like The Comet's Curse finished in four to five months. If you did a little bit more each day, a little bit shorter. But remember, it doesn't even have to be a novel. Maybe you just want to write uh, you know, something in a journal. Maybe you want to write poetry. Maybe you want to write music, write songs. Um, it's going to be different, and each writer is different as well. So it's a matter of you sitting down and finding out what your tolerance is, what your patience is, and how dedicated and disciplined you can be. So give it a shot, but I don't know, anywhere from four to six months to a year or more? That's your answer. Garrett, thanks. If you would like to send in a question, it's an easy way to do it. Just go to clubgalahad.com. Besides seeing everything about the Galahad books, right at the bottom you'll see a link where you can send in a question, and we might use yours next time. Thanks very much. We'll see you again.